Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to our finale, epilogue, what have you, of Europa Universalis 4 as Russia. We are in a grand old series of pointless wars that are going to last forever, of course. Um, yeah. The one thing that's holding us back now, one thing, and I would have, I almost missed this. Yeah, it's this fort right here, or this, uh... Province, rather. St. Thomas. I think that's the last holdout of Aragon. I think. There might be some tiny provinces around here some somewhere. But, uh, yeah. I think it's just them. Oh, and this. But, uh, we've basically conquered that. We've got, we've got our own little, uh, Little fort here, because like I, I promised, I was going to skip ahead and just deal with all the nitty gritty stuff of having to eat all of, uh, all of our guys here. I guess I should bring my stacks over from the islands. Yeah, it's just, it's just very, very unfortunate what's going on right now. In the sense that, uh, yeah, I should probably pull you back from that, shouldn't I? Anyway, yeah, poor Saxony, they're getting wrecked. Austria is basically doing all the work over there by themselves, so they're good. And, yeah, I need to bring my troops over here so that stuff doesn't get in the way. 43 days, that was really fast. I guess I could bring my, my ships up over here, because we've got a navy now. It's a bit too late to really do anything useful in the game, but, uh, you know, it's there. I think I'll convert all this over to Saxony, let them do whatever they're going to do with it. And also, yeah. I would really like to get this land here. I forget which war am I part of. 51%. You'd figure I would have higher war contribution, but apparently not. Anyway, yeah, we're just waiting or Castile to peace out. Like, they've won their war, just for the love of God, just peace out. Just do it. But they won't, because they're jerks. And, you know what, let's, uh... We're still reasonably ahead of time, so we'll... Yeah, turn some stuff over there, because why not? Life is good. We have taken... I mean, I might as well at this point just come on down here and mess up this big old stack of Danish uh, and whoever else people. Just smash them. Smash them, boil them, peel them, stick them in a stew. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll give in to your demands. Why not? Oh, yeah, what's going on over here? These guys are possibly causing... Could you just peace out? I've already seen... We've sieged out everything. I'm not giving any ground. You're not giving any ground because I know the AI isn't bold enough to take everything that they can. And if only they hadn't sieged that one island, it would be fine. But they weren't bold enough. And so we're kind of left in this uh, sticky predicament here. Hey, where are you guys going? I'm burning manpower here for you. I mean, I guess that's kind of, that's my own fault. Oh, here we go. Do I not have a leader? In any of these guys? Uh... I don't think so. Oh wait, wait, wait. No, one of them does have a leader. Okay, that that's fine then. Okay, then you can go there. You can go here. And you can go there. Oh, and you know what? Just, just for fun, we'll uh, send you guys up here as well. No way we stack wipe them, but that would be pretty cool. We did some damage. That's really all you can ask for. Rondelog is ours. Well, actually, I guess I should go down this way. I'm not going to worry about sieging literally everything. Though I guess I could. Just like I could send my my naval forces over here. Oh, no. 
Oh no. Sweden, don't do it. Or Switzerland. Uh, no. We'll lose the manpower because that's better to me, personally. I mean, the thing you don't seem to realize, my friend, is that I can sit on this, this war forever. My country is so vast and so great that I literally... Oh god, no! They snuck up on me and I wasn't paying attention because I am apparently an idiot. It happens. To the best of us. I somehow still won that. I don't really know how. Oh, are you gonna just be a... Uh... No, we've got to just wander over there. Oh, that's unfortunate. I could have stack wiped them. Uh. Oh well, we, we've got him. We've got him. That also must have bumped up my war participation. Yes. So they'll probably give me a bunch of land. You just peace out already. You're never getting any more. But they won't peace out because the AI is dumb. I kind of wish the AI knew or had like a, a better sense of judgment on these things. It's like, oh, well, you know, everything else is sieged out, so they're definitely never going to make peace. You know, I should probably be paying attention to what's going on up here. Because there are some big-ish... Oh, yeah, look at that. There's like a 40 stack right there. They're gonna try and siege back their land. And I would rather if they didn't, but they probably are. Oh, wait. Okay. War is not over, but uh... Okay, now that war is over. Jolly good. Alright. Yeah, just get on top of that, would you? Ah, damn. We're kinda locked in here. That is mildly unfortunate, but life goes on. I don't want to have to feed you all this, but I guess I do. Well, that didn't take very long. Alright, that worked out like a dream. Alright, things are looking good over here. Castile still stubbornly refuses to peace out. I have random rebels. I mean, you're not just gonna stop and randomly siege one of my provinces, are you? They might. Which again, would be very unfortunate for me. And that's going to work out. Lose all of my patriarchal authority. Or... That's kind of crazy. Hmm. Alright, yeah, I'll do it. It's a bit of a ridiculous thing to do, but... Uh... Oh, you know what? It also just occurred to me, and I feel like a bit of an idiot for this. I bet the reason why this is uh, the way it is, is because they're not an accepted culture. Unfortunately, I, I can't make them an accepted culture, so... We just have to live with that. And... I'm gonna be honest with you, I was hoping that... Oh, we're actually, uh... Maybe gonna be able to stack wipe these guys? Maybe. Which would be great. Nah, it took too long. Didn't happen. Now it happened. Jolly good. Jolly, jolly good. Yeah, you know what? You can have that, Saxony. Stupid fort. Alright. I mean, I think we've... We've done enough. Where the devil are you going?
But I feel like they might just try to siege out my land. Oh, good, good. The war is over. Okay, so... Um... Yes, I also want this. And I don't think... I don't think they have anything else. Let's take a quick look at the old dynasty. They have this. Which I apparently can't take because I can't make it a core. If I turn that over to British Louisiana. Though, hang on. Though we are also making them seed Eastern and... Yeah, but I think that's just the uh, the colonial regions. Okay, you're British Louisiana. Can I... Because I don't want it! Ah! No! And I can't... Damn. Damn and blast. Well, <laughs> that might make things difficult again. Is there is there really nothing else? I should have uh, I should have sent a soldier over here to seize that colony or something. I think that's it. Sure, and we'll take all your money as well. Oh, and we do get war reparations because they are going to continue to exist. Damn! I wish there was something I could do about this. Like, if they didn't want it, I wish they would give it back. And actually, why didn't this become part of Aragonese, Louisiana? Yeah. I mean, it's part of the region. You know what? We'll see what happens. Though, I bet I screwed myself by turning that over. Alright, what happened here? It still belongs to them. God damn. Well, I mean, I guess we just truce break and finish it off. Wait, this doesn't belong to me? I thought I made you seed your stuff. Oh, well, that didn't, didn't quite go the way I had hoped. Damn, damn and blast. Okay. Oh, yeah, and you can do that. All right, so we're just gonna we're just gonna truce break and finish this. Do 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 do. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, I'd say this went rather well. Though in another way. Some might say it went rather poorly. Yeah, why not? And... Get rid of the forts. But yeah, it should be a simple matter. We just truce break and then that's that. What are you even doing? Like, you baffle me, sir. But I mean, aside from that unfortunate uh, business, I would say things have went rather well. I mean, look at our uh, glorious Mother Russia over here. You're almost done, so I'll be able to con or start colonizing you in a moment. I mean, we're probably the richest nation on Earth at this point. And I don't think anyone is ever going to stop us ever again. So, yeah. All's good. All is very good indeed. Alright. Let, let's do it. We're just going to truce break Aragon. 
and finish this because we're not terribly concerned. Oh, right. Yeah. Screw it. We have so many points, it literally doesn't matter. Yeah, you know what? I'll boost myself all the way up to two. That's how little I care about you, sir. And we'll win it with just this four stack. And our, uh, our colony over here. Alright. I think... Do I automatically get these if I win? I forget. Get how that works. Sure, why not? We'll tax you. We will tax our glorious American colony. I mean, what? Yeah, like look at the look at these numbers we're dealing with. I'm actually, gonna split you in half, and oh, this is never mind. It's all one, one big old country basically. All right, so what do I want? I would like, because I can't make it a core. There, that's all I want. Without occupying damn gummit. But this should literally it shouldn't take too long. Colonial governor has died. That is a shame. But of course, we are, again, the richest man in the world. Or the richest country in the world, so it doesn't matter. Even a little bit. Yeah, sure, why not? It's beyond our control. Which is, of course, legalese for saying I really don't care. It's totally within our control, but we're not going to do any... Oh! Oop. Okay, I think if I take this... I might be able to just peace out in a, a simple fashion. How easy would this be? We're so close. Honestly, I might just give it all to America. Just have one super colony. I mean, why wouldn't I do that? I suppose there are some reasons, but, you know. Uh, this whole campaign, nothing... But then again, it happens every EU4 campaign. Nothing ever goes exactly the way I intended it to. And I would say in a lot of ways that actually makes things better. Also, some separatists are wandering into my country from somewhere. Oh, they finally, they finally wandered over the wrong way. Also, I did sign to anger the clergy. Yes, okay, good. I don't think I just eat these colonies, do I? Wait, why did I suddenly lose access? Because I can't make it a core. Why can't I make it a core? What are you saying? Am I gonna have to actually sit here until I get the unlimited coring distance? I mean, it could happen. Eh, it's gonna happen sooner or later. Now that was kind of weird to me. Why did, uh... Why did I end up losing control there? Or wait, am I gonna have to... Hang on a second. Oh wait, 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 no. Cause I can't make it... Why? Why can't I make it a core? When has that ever actually stopped me in the past? You know, I really forget whether... You know what, we're just gonna have to fast forward for this. I'll be right back until... When we, we'll wait and see if we get the, uh, the unlimited coring thing, or coring distance, and once that happens, once that happens, maybe, uh, maybe we'll be good. Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. All I needed to do, I think, was just transfer it over to America. There we go. 
That's the proper way of doing things. All right, now we can piece this out and that should be the end. The final end. No. No. No! Oh wait, I... Never mind, that was me. No! There's Aragon! How dare you, sir? How dare you keep colonizing? Why won't you stop? Just let me... Leave me be. Oh, and there goes our other colony over here. So we can continue colonizing our way towards the ocean. I, I really feel... That I have... Uh, I haven't lived up to... The possibilities of what we could have actually had. No? Alright, let's just seize the colony. Wait. Oh, right, right, I gotta... It's on the army itself. Burn the colony. Build supply... Where's the seize colony? Oh, I can't. So I'll just burn it. Alright. Alright. Is there any Rurikovix anywhere else in the world? That's me. That's Aragon. I don't... I don't see it. I see no Rurikovix. This is all me. This is all me. Also me. I don't see anything over here. Okay. I think... I think this is it. And you know what? We'll just revoke a bunch of cores because why not? Because we can, right? Alright, please let this be it. Who's mad at me now? Aragonese, Louisiana. You are no longer Aragonese, Louisiana. You are now Russian, Lu you know, we'll just call you regular Louisiana. You're your own man. And I want you to know I respect that. Yeah, I respect you. Yes, Kitten Slayer! We finally... We finally did it. It's finally over. Finally. Also, this has led to some messy, messy borders. Alright, let's do a quick look at everything we have achieved here. So while we were, um, like, doing the whole cleanup at the end here, we got Bright Spark. That was kind of a foregone conclusion. Uh, we also got Live Long and Prosper. And Multiculturalism. As well as Kinslayer at the very end. Victory is ours. And... If I had noticed it sooner... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We'll get rid of Georgian, and we'll promote Umbrian instead. This will only take a minute. Oh, wait. If I cancel that, then I'll have enough points. Okay, here we go. Now we promote Umbrian, which I believe... Yes, there we go. As a grand finale. Redecorating. There we are. We got all kinds of achievements. This has been like the greatest campaign of all time. Let us look back on Russia. Look on ye work on yeah, on ye works ye might or my works ye mighty. And despair. Though we totally could have done better, but we're good enough, is what I'm thinking. I'm actually feeling really good about this. We did we did good. Let's look at the timeline. We'll go to as we kind of wrap things up. It was a good campaign. Made a couple of mistakes. Had to go back a little bit. Of course, at one time, due to some, you know, unfortunate business on my part. And, of course, things took a little bit longer than planned due to Aragon deciding to get my dynasty on their throne. But we did it. And so I think the goal now, by now the Manchu update's probably been out for a while, but I'm thinking we're either going to play as Japan or Korea. I'm leaning towards Korea, because I want to save Japan for later. But Japan is a bit farther away from Ming, so it, it would give us a better view of uh, the kind of changed mechanics in this area without us directly influencing things, so I guess we'll see. Anyway, until then though, I hope you've all enjoyed being part of this journey with me. 
I've certainly had a good time, and I look forward to where we go in future series. Until then, though, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking, and I will see all you in the next video.